the camera around, dang it. <laughs> hey, um. There we go. Hello. Welcome to my podcast. Say hi, guys. You can say your Instagram if you want. Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, I'm Savage Monscar, also known as C Wheel. Hope y'all are having a great Monday afternoon. I am. I forgot my Instagram, but I know it's like Andrew King or something. I don't know. <laughs> He'll put a link in the bio or something. I don't know. So yeah, um, pretty, they all pretty, they just they should just all know what a podcast is, so I shouldn't have to explain anything. But yeah, we got a we got a bunch of topics here to talk about. So I don't. I've never had a podcast before, so I don't really know how to start this out. But I guess you want to talk about the race today? I'm pretty excited yeah. for it. Well, why yes. not? So, uh, the, the race today is at Talladega. Um, it's at 3 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, I don't know what the weather conditions are like at the moment, but some people said um, earlier today that it was sunny. I hope it doesn't get rained out again, or I'll be mad <laughs> yet again. I don't want that. Mm. And it's on Fox because I don't at this point I can finally watch the race. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope it'll be a good one. I'm sure there'll be some wrecks, um, probably two big wrecks. Uh, and my pick to win is Tyler Reddick. That's a good one. I'd say I can see my top three being Hamlin winning, Brad Keselowski second, and Johnson finishing third. But I really want Johnson to win because, you know, I'm a Johnson fan. But that's. <laughs> That's me, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I got a die cast. I hope that Johnson would win, you know. Yeah, I, he's been doing really good. He's got, Six he's, top ten so far. Yeah, Johnson's had some struggles on restrictor plate restrictor plate tracks lately. He's um he's wrecked in I think the last four. Um, so hopefully he could turn around that bad luck today. Yeah, he's he he wrecks a lot at the super speedways. But yeah, um, I think I think Brad will do good, but it seems like Brad Keselowski he usually. Rex wrecks a lot. He runs really good, and then he wrecks. But, you know, it doesn't – I don't expect it to happen every time, but I think he'll do good. But most of all, of everyone, I think um, – I don't know. I just think – I guess I think Brad will win. Uh, Brad Kozlowski and um, Denny Hamlin and Logano have all have been running good on restrictor plate tracks lately. Same thing with Ryan Blaney. Um so it'll be interesting to see. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Rakizowski's up in the front at the end. Yeah. Um, also, I think Newman is Newman is pretty good at restricted plate. Uh, yeah, he's had a lot of flips uh, on restricted plates too. So hopefully he doesn't yeah. flip. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't flip this time. <laughs> <laughs> the last lap, I guess. Be... Yeah, actually, I actually. Pretty sure you all know this, but I heard that they they're doing something to slow down the cars, like like l lowering the horsepower or something like that. I don't I don't really remember exactly, but I just know that they're slowing down the cars. Well, yeah. I, I don't agree with that. Honestly, yep. I mean, NASCAR is about speed and like yeah, all that. So I think it's gay. Uh. So actually, I, I saw this one. It was the NASCAR Sirius XM. Um, what, just I was watching it, and there was this guy. He was talking about how he thinks that they should add like wings that can come out of the car, so when they flip it and fly in the air, they can like like try and glide themselves down. And he wants them to have like a parachute come out of it. Wow, uh, he's yeah. probably drunk or something. <laughs> it was pretty <laughs> funny. So, yeah, yeah, I'm. The thing is with that, like, that's going to cost them more money. It's going to cost them millions of dollars to do that. 
And the only time I see them doing that is like 2050 when they have more like flying cars that they're saying they're going to come out with. That's going to take years to do. That's not going to happen anytime soon. And I don't see that happening because NASCAR isn't an airplane sport. NASCAR is a, a car, not an airplane. So yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, really, I just hope that I'm a car person, so I just I like to ride the car on the ground, and I hope that they don't come out with flying cars someday, a long time from now. It's probably never gonna happen in our life, in our lifetime. But I just wouldn't really like it if cars started flying. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So. Got anything else to say? Um, not really. Besides Jimmy Johnson winning today, I really want to see him win. I just that would be awesome. I mean, I've been watching the sport for three years without Jimmy winning. I'm mean, like, I, I for a really long time, I, I I didn't watch the sport. I wasn't a huge fan at the time, right? But after Johnson won his seventh championship, I was like, I want to see history happen by him breaking the eighth. So I got a huge, I, I became a huge NASCAR fan for over the years. And when he just didn't win, I thought I was the cause of it. So, you know, I'm disappointed mm -hmm. that he ain't winning much, but he's going to win this year. I can feel it. Yeah. He's been running so well. I'd be so, it'd be like crazy if he didn't win this win yet this season. Yeah. You know, Jim, the thing is with Jimmy, like, I don't want to say he's going to win because I don't want to jinx anything. I've actually jinxed it so many times. I'd say Jimmy's going to run well. Jimmy's going to do good. He ends up crashing. So I, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Um, but, I mean, I've been a NASCAR fan since 2004, and I've watched Jimmy. Jimmy was my favorite driver um, when I first started watching. And I've always been a Jimmy fan. But I just, I just honestly, in my opinion, I'm not very confident. Um, I haven't been very confident in him the last couple of years. Um, of him winning races I just feel this like it makes me like I have so much hype and then when he wrecks I feel so disappointed I want to cry so I honestly can't, like I can't feel very confident he's going to win but you know I still have that hope it, deep inside you know yeah I actually saw an article Jimmy was talking about he was just talking about how he is he's recently had a lot a lack of confidence in him how he wants to, how he's trying to gain, gain confidence back. Well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he still has confidence. We probably lost a lot of, the, lost a lot of that over there, over the years of going winless and all of that. Yeah. Mm. A rare old Elliot Sather 38 hat that no one carries anymore. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I was born in 2004. Um, all I know is that Kurt Busch was one win that championship season, and then after that, my, I mean, my parents just love NASCAR. But ever since they're, you see, my mom is a huge Dale Earnhardt Senior fan. But when he died, she just got out of the sport, and my dad was a Dale Jarrett fan. And when he retired, he got out of the sport too. So that's gonna happen to me, I guess. But you never know. I grew up in a racing family sort of not like actually racing in um the sport um so like my grandparents always liked nascar uh, my uncle liked nascar my mom never was a huge nascar fan but she liked it some and my dad never really was either until i started getting involved, like started to like it but uh, my grandfather was a huge Dale senior fan my mom's dad and like he met him once and like when he died he was very upset but He's been a trooper. He's watched NASCAR all his life. And um, then my dad, my dad started to like NASCAR more when I became more interested in it. Thinking it's like my mom. Um, so that's sort of like my background with my family. In NASCAR. Yeah, so I guess if we're talking about how he started liking, I guess how we started really getting into NASCAR. Um, really, my dad like. He used to watch NASCAR in the mid '90s before I was born, and then, um, in about he stopped liking NASCAR for a while, and stopped getting into it and all of that. So he, in 2000, the 2019 Daytona 500, he turned it on, and then, and then me and my brother and him watched it, and then after, 
And then after that, we just started watching the races every week. I don't really remember how, but actually at first, I thought I had to do races like every couple months because I don't know why. I just I just thought that's how it would be because, you know, the cars hard to move. <laughs> it's pretty weird that, but yeah. so yeah, that's pretty much how I got, how I started liking it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, my first race that I've ever been to was the 2011 Martinsville race. I think, yeah, Hamlin won that race. And I, that was probably the last cup race that I've ever been to, but I've been to a lot of Xfinity ones up there in Richmond. So, I mean, those. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy that, like, my first race uh, was actually 2011 Cup Call 600, even though I've been a fan, I was a fan seven years before. But I've never been to an actual race. I finally got to go uh, 2011 Cup Call 600. That was an amazing race. Um, then I've been to a couple of Xfinity, um, or I've been to one truck race, you know, with the 2019, um, Daytona Speed Weeks, and I've been to Martinsville twice, and there's other tracks I've been by, but never actually watched a race at. So, I, my bucket list, or one of my goals, um, in life is to go, or to see, or to go to a race at every NASCAR track. Yeah, that'd be, that'd, that'd be a cool thing to do. My, the first the first race I went to that wasn't rain delayed was the 2019 Bristol race. Oh. Um, yeah, I because the, the first race I went to was Michigan, and that race got rain delayed, so I couldn't go back the next day because we had because we didn't really think that I would get rain delayed. So, but yeah, it was pretty cool going to Bristol. I wasn't now I'm not really that big of a Denny Hamlin fan, so when he won at the Bristol night race, so, um. I wasn't really that just it was a good race. I just had a good time. Yeah. You see, I don't understand why people hate Hamlin. I've always liked Hamlin, you know. I mean I mean I've never met him or anything, but he and he's a pretty cool driver, but I mean everybody's like, Oh, I hate him and I was like, Why? They don't really have a reason. You know, I I'm not a huge Hamlin fan, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of, like, it's something to do with Gibbs Driver. So, like, Joe Gibbs Driver, I really like it's Eric Jones. But I do like Joe Gibbs, the owner. Um, he's a great guy, Christian. And um, I don't know. I'm not a huge Penske fan either. But I do like Ryan Blaney. So, that's just – those are just some of the drivers I don't like. I like pretty much every other driver, though, in NASCAR. See, what I like about Joe Gibbs is that he went from NFL, which is like the biggest American sport, to NASCAR, which is now like a low, low kind of community sport now, you know, like it, it takes all the dedication to go to from a sport to like a rising sport than falling. Oh, well, NASCAR likes falling. That's a good, that's a good, interesting debate right there. I don't know if NASCAR is falling. I've, I know people have said that over years. But if you look at some of the racing statistics, some of the races um, earlier in the past decade, uh, in the past decade, were actually had the same amount of year rating as some of the races in the 90s. So I don't know if, if I mean, there's not as many fans in the stands, of course, sometimes. But I don't feel like NASCAR is dying or like lowering. Um, I'm sure like what happened last night, which we'll probably get into a little bit, what did really cause a lot more people around the sports world to get an outrage and more NASCAR would be more of a topic now since of the stuff that's been happening recently. So I, that's just my opinion. Yeah, lately, yeah, lately they've definitely been talking about NASCAR a lot. Like you, you can hear it on the news. Yeah, I'm. Sometimes I look through the Twitter trending, and I actually today I, I it was fourth in trending, but not really for a good reason. I wish NASCAR would get get trending and popular for more good reasons. But yeah, actually, the the um, thing about Bubba Wallace, do you guys have have you guys heard of that? The you know the Bubba yeah. Wallace on a noose, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I that was actually number four on trending, but I just it'd be nice if it was a better reason. But so yeah, what well, I guess since we're we're talking about that, uh, what do what your guys thoughts on? The Bubba Wallace actually it was one of his crew members who found the noose in the 43 garage. Uh, um, 
I've always liked Bubba Wallace, but yeah, I mean, you, you know, he's gone through depression and everything, and him finding and one of his crew members finding that that's just terrible. I mean, honestly, that I mean, that kind of makes me sad because I mean, you know, they know they had depression and all, but you're making it even worse for him. So, uh, I hope to find the guy and just fire him and stuff. Yeah, that that guy just I I really hope he gets found and like just kicked from NASCAR. Yeah. And like I agree completely. Um, I mean it's very unfortunate what happened and it's something we didn't need. It's something the NASCAR community didn't need. It's something that we thought we got over and that NASCAR, you know, thought they got over. And I watched the uh, Marty Smith on ESPN talk about it. He had the best response to it, I think, when or the best explanation of what happened. If you haven't yet, go check that out. Um I feel like well, I mean, like Andrew said, Bubba has been going through depression, and I've I've liked Bubba Boss as well. But I just I don't see why someone would be so stupid and do something like that. Someone has to have like that, even though the thing is, like we at the moment we don't know who did it. It could be anybody. It could be crew members. It could be NASCAR officials. It could be block. It could be it, who knows. And some people are saying it could be Bubba himself, which I don't think he did. But that's not something we should leave out of the question. Um, even though a lot of people are saying, if you believe that, you should go to hell. And I don't think that's right. Um, you know, you shouldn't really wish that upon somebody. And the thing is, like, I mean, it's, it, I mean, NASCAR's changing. NASCAR's had some changes recently. They banned the Confederate flag, even though we saw a plane fly that over the track yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, and NASCAR's making change. And not everyone agrees with it. So uh, some people are going to do some stupid stuff like this. But I did not expect to see hear about a news being in the garage area. And it's just very unfortunate. It's very mad. It made, it, made, it pissed me off. It made a lot of people upset. And, you know, I just hope the issue gets resolved and that we won't have any more situations like this in the future. Yeah, that – I hope that never – that – I hope it never happens again, because I, the, I did, I didn't expect this to, anything like this to happen. Like I, I expect some things to happen, and kind of like, kind of like people revolting against this, you know, you know, all these changes that NASCAR has been making. I didn't expect that anything like this would happen. I kind of saw it coming, honestly. You know, you got people all over the place that's mad at NASCAR, and you got people that are agreeing. I saw it coming. I, I saw something like that coming, but I didn't know it was going to be, like, I thought someone was going to literally put a flag in the track, not actually fly it over. I always saw, like, someone dropping a flag or someone coming in with a Confederate flag parachute or something. You know, you always see those happen, but um, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, flag. Yeah, the, them flying the Confederate flags mean defund NASCAR. I was laughing my tail off at that. I thought it was very interesting. I didn't really find it funny, but I, I mean, I thought it was interesting. Um, you know, I'm from the South, and now that we're on top of Confederate flag, um, I got, you know, I actually got kicked out of a couple of diecast series for saying that I think that the Confederate flag shouldn't be banned. But, there, I mean, it's a lot of controversy, you know. I'm not, I'm since I'm in the media, I'm in the media market now and I'm in um, broadcasting school and everything and possibly going to get into the media in the future. I have to stay neutral. So I'm not going to say everything that I believe about it. But I do say that I think it, it shouldn't be banned, but I understand why people wanted it to be banned. Yeah. Um, I agree. You know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to get banned. I mean, uh, when it's banned, I'm I'm okay with it, but at the same time, I'm not because you know that's been with the sport since the beginning of time. Well, not the beginning of the time, but you know what I mean. Beginning of the yeah, sport. yeah. So, Personally, what were you gonna say? I was like, I just forgot. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't really. Cause I'm not really. Fr- I'm not from the south, but. I don't really care if it's there or not. I don't. I don't think anybody should really care if the. But I'm not really gonna say what people should think. But yeah, I wouldn't really care if, I, if the Confederate flag. I think it's good for the sport. But yeah. Um, 
John. If y'all yeah. hear my uh, sister in the background, that's because she's yelling at her iPad and stuff. Just don't mind it. <laughs> my dog. My dog. Uh, don't. Just, just warning you that my, that he might start whining because he's sitting in his. He's locked up right now. Ah. Uh. Because there's a door open over over somewhere, and we don't want him to get out. Because if he gets out, he'll just run. He'll just run straight for the. Just, just straight away. You just run, run, run. <laughs> I'm wondering how how much of Dale Earnhardt cars. Like, I mean, like how much are they? Like seniors, you know, like um, like the you know the you know what I mean, like good wrench cars and all them. Yeah. I I don't know how much they cost. Because I have at least one. I have six six Dale Earnhardt cards. Yeah, I have. I have about. I have about about six, but they're not all good wrench. Uh, yeah, I have yeah. a bunch of senior cards, but I um I don't remember how some of them cost. Like I have a good bit, um, but I do know some of them that are like uh, preserved or in like these boxes are the ones you probably usually see. Some of those could cost a good bit of money. So, you, I mean, you could probably get them. I've gotten some at Richard Children's Museum before. They're like $20 a piece or so. But there's some you could probably get online for cheaper. I would show you this. I have this big, it was, it was like $20 used, but I have this big Dale, Dale Earnhardt Senior RC car. It's like, it's, it's like 118 scale size, but I, it's all boxed up right now. So, Actually, when I got it, it was it was used. I got it from Salvation Army. The battery was actually it was sitting in the or the controller thing, and it was all like melted up, and you could like like took it off, and a bunch of pieces and chips of the battery fell out. So that was we had to like we had to pry it out with a um I forgot what it's called just a little a little. Just, a little screw or something. But yeah, it was pretty 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 weird. Well it's at least I get a cool um car, the Allen Hart car to look at. Yeah. 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 What do you think uh the next NASCAR Heat five game is gonna be? Um my brother is really into that. Um but he really every time they post news about that stuff he he looks into it and just gets gets into it. So I'm I'm usually pretty update, pretty up to date on NASCAR NASCAR Heat Five. I think yeah. it's to get a game. I've already seen someone play it that got it pre ordered, and it's amazing. The thing is, it's unfortunate. Like I can't play it because I don't have a PlayStation or any video game console in general. Um, so I can't play it, but. I mean that game looks really good. I've already seen some of the stuff in it. They have you can choose what tracks you want in your season. A lot of paint schemes, bunch of cool stuff in that. Yeah, I mean that's the things uh, that's the things that we've always been wanting since Evolution ever started. Started, but um, I'm I'm just disappointed with the online part because everybody just wants to wreck everybody and you know, <laughs> you're just trying to have fun. Yeah. And make yes. it like wreck. Like I think you should have a separate whole entire thing like they had in the uh, evolution online part. They had like two. They had two different things. You had the the um, regular one, or they had the demolition one where you could run around the track and stuff, like backwards, <laughs> forward, wrecking people and all that. Yeah, because yeah. whenever I go, sometimes it's 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 I don't I don't really like to play the well when I just feel like having playing like a wreck fest type thing. I play NASCAR Heat um, multiplayer, but I never do it to just try and race competitively because everyone is just going to hit into you and take you out. So, yeah, it, it's pretty hard to yeah, see I'm a, what's going on. Yeah, see, I'm a pretty good NASCAR uh, Heat player. Like, I, I rank top five in, like, lap times at Watson's, Watson's going. It's kind of crazy. I mean, I take that stuff kind of serious, but the other times I just try to have fun, you know. I mean, that's the whole point of the game anyways, to have fun and wreck people, I guess. 
it is it is really fun. Sometimes sometimes when I play it, sometimes I end up raging a little. But <laughs> I'm tr- I'm trying not to do that as much. Y'all, sh- y'all should see how much rage I get when I play Warzone or Fortnite, bro. I get mad every single second. If if I like played uh, like I had some video, I did a video with NBA 2K for my friends. I raged in that, and I rage sometimes at certain games like Madden. If I play Madden, I hate that game so much. Like any of the Madden games, like I'll get mad and start throwing stuff. Um, and NASCAR, um, if I have a video game console, I'll probably rage some, but I'm not like really bad, like breaking stuff though. But. Speaking of Madden, um, about two years ago, I was playing Madden 18 or Madden 17. I got so mad that I literally broke my TV. I threw my controller at my TV and it broke. Yeah. You wouldn't believe how mad my parents were. I was. Uh. Like, that's uh, that's like something you see on like a rage rage compilation on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I support of that. Yeah, but, sometimes uh, I have to hold my back, hold hold myself back from, because I, sometimes I just really want to throw the controller at the TV. It's about to like storm here, guys. So I might do the Brad Keselowski. You just hear the thunder in the background. <laughs> How, what are some of y'all's um, expectations for today's race at Talladega? Uh, I expect someone to flip. Um, not like Kyle Larson last year where it was like the last lap. I expect someone to flip like maybe during stage two or stage one. I, I can't see it in late race. Um, if someone were to flip, it would probably want be one of the underfunded cars like uh, Cody Ware, Timmy Hill, or someone like that. Probably. Yeah, um, it'd be kind of cool if it was like how it was back in the, you know, back back then when cars used to go flying around. They were, they were like, it was like an air show. They'd go, every, go flying around everywhere. Oh, especially when they would go, um, go over 200 miles an hour, like 210 and all that. Yeah, like NASCAR has come a long way at restrictor plates. I, I mean, I love watching old Talladega races back in the 80s and 90s, and those are a blast. Same thing with the 2000s. Any Talladega race is pretty good with me. I'm not very bored with them, but I hope I don't see a bunch of single file racing. Like, I mean, they used to race single file in the past as well, but the single file that they do now is different than they did back then. Back then, there'd be little spaces, but now it's just bumper to bumper, like a centipede on the top of the wall. And that's not really something like that I find appealing. And I feel like I hopefully that doesn't happen today, but I wouldn't be surprised if it does happen either in stage one or stage two. I'm expecting a bunch of lead changes maybe towards the end. And I'm expecting probably two big wrecks. And I'm going with the underdog. I'm going with Tyler Reddick to win. Yeah. Yeah, he'd it'd be pretty cool if he won. Um uh, I'd like to see him break this, you know, this streak of rookies not winning in their first season. You know, mm-hmm. I um I think maybe coming down to like two laps ago, I, I I kinda see maybe Tyler Reddick giving that top ten, but he's not getting the push. You know you know, like um in the Xfinity series yesterday, I really wanted the uh who, who was it? Ward Burton's son, Jeb Burton. I wanted him to win, but he just didn't have Austin Cindric to help him out. I think that's something, and then I think that's something that NASCAR needs to improve because I always want to see like pushing to the end. So it's kind of cool to see these side by side finishes. I mean, we haven't seen a side by side finish since Daytona, right? Yeah. Talladega can be a really scary race if your driver yeah. hasn't hasn't won yet and they're not locked into the playoffs. It can be very, very scary. I, I guess that's where, like, the restrictor plate advantages come from because, you know, anything can happen at super speedways. You know, like, you have underfunded teams up in that top ten. You had Michael McDowell was uh, – Brandy gone last year. He was even in the um, top two, and he just flipped. And, like, I, I, I don't know how many laps to go it was. I was going yeah. for him the whole time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, 
have any can't think of anything to say oh um if y'all want to talk about it, we could talk about diecast series news and stuff going on in the diecast community we can do that yeah yeah so in the diecast community from what i've seen recently um Spence just finished up one of his seasons in the diecast, and he's starting another one. Um, the John Deere Cup Series is starting up. Uh, Nike, uh, I've seen a bunch of them starting up. DuPont, um, and then mine's currently, uh, the Super Series is currently um, in the season, just started a couple weeks ago. Um, Napa, delayed, Napa season's still delayed. I don't know whenever they're going to start. Um, so it's just a bunch of broadcast series kind of finish their season, some starting back up again. Fast enough about to start back up again. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how um, all the diecast series stuff is going to go and play out. Because there's been a lot of um, drama lately with people getting kicked out over certain topics, uh, people getting mad shots, being kicked out. So uh, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I've, I've had a my series DuPont Cup, I've had a lot of people that I've had to kick out because they, because they just um, get really mad about things. Yeah. yeah um, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy I'm in the diecast series because I always love watching uh, Eric E. Steph and a couple others doing these stop motion type of things. And I always wanted to kind of be in one, but uh, ever since I looked up Instagram on diecast series, I can't believe how many how many accounts dedicate to this kind of stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. I have my little diecast cars. I, I thought about doing one of my own, but at the same time, my NASCAR Instagram page doesn't even have but like 30 or 20 followers. So I can't really get that up any higher. Yeah, there's there's so many of these diecast series that you really have to really have to set yourself apart from the pack, I guess. Yeah, the thing is with some of the diecast series, like, I, when I wanted to start mine, I thought about starting some with some of the regular NASCARs that are, like, 2000s NASCARs, 2010, stuff like that. I thought about doing that, but a lot of people are doing the same thing, so I kind of wanted to do something different, so I decided to do Superbirds and Dodge Daytonas, um, and some people... Um, some, like people do it differently. Some people have it where they do it on paper, drawn up tracks. Some people do it outside. Some people do it on their floor. Um, some people do it on like with cardboard things or Hot Wheels tracks. So you see a wide variety. You know, you just, sometimes if you're trying to start a diecast series, you can kind of find something different or try to find something appealing as well. And you have to be dedicated to it because sometimes it takes a lot of work to write out all the standings and stuff and yeah. to post too much about it and yet that like you know i've seen people have their own logos and stuff as well so just find yourself a logo as well and try to find something that um even though you may have not that many amount of followers it's a good start i mean like i know when i started my nascar account about like over a little over a year ago i actually didn't start my diecast account till i think it was maybe september and i had like 300 followers back then so just, you know, it takes time. Yeah, it definitely does. So actually, I was wondering what you guys, this is, this is off topic with the, you know, the diecast series thing, but so um, I was wondering how you think Toyota, they haven't been doing nearly as good as they were last season. I was wondering how you think they're going to go on with the season, if you think they're going to do keep doing this bad or if they're gonna kind of like go uphill or down what do you think uh, for certain they're gonna go uphill because hamlin and truex are kind of carrying them i can see uh bush winning at least one this season of I mean, not at least one but you know what i mean he's gonna at least win a couple this season i don't think eric jones is gonna do anything because you know he won one at darlington and the other at daytona and those are kind of separate tracks you know, I just think Eric James needs a little bit more help. So, I mean, if he were to get back into, like, the uh, Xfinity and just race a little bit there, I think he's going to be a better driver. Yeah. Eric Jones is definitely talented, um, really talented driver. But right now he is def he's, like the, he's like the anchor for Joe Gibbs. Yeah, for certain. Yeah, Toyota's, um, Toyota's been sort of, like, um, the last couple of years, Toyota's really became like the top 
maybe kind of the NASCAR other than Ford. And that Chevy used to be the top, and they've kind of fell off. And Toyota, they've been really strong. Um, this year, they haven't been as strong as I would expect, but I still think they're pretty bad. Just, I mean, they're pretty good. Um, just because they haven't won any races so far this season doesn't mean that they're not strong. If you've seen the race, like if you've seen races, a lot of Toyotas are up front, and Chevy's improved this season. Um, <laughs> or, well, with Kozlowski and Logano and Harvey. So um, I think Toyota's still probably going to have a good season, even though I'm a Chevy fan. Um, I just don't I just don't see that um, Toyota's going to be on a downfall anytime soon. Yeah, I don't I, – I really doubt that they're going to – that they're going to do, like, really bad this season or – at most, I doubt they're just going to be, like, mediocre. I think they're going to be pretty great. But I, I do like to see – Chevy and Ford winning a lot because I would like to. It'd be, I I would like if everyone was just about equal, like all the manufacturers and all that. That'd be pretty cool. I wish Dodge would have stayed in NASCAR to be honest with you. Yeah, same. Yeah. It was kind of seeing. It was cool seeing Dodge in the sport. Yeah, that Dodge was cool. for a long time. But see what 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 I think happened was that Camaro stepped in. And the Camaros kind of slowed down Chevy. And ever since the Camaros has been into the sport, the Chevy suck. But, um, you know, that's what I think. And people think it's because the drivers suck. I think, lately I've been thinking it would be really cool to see if, Do- if the Dodge Challenger started, um, if they started racing that, that would be awesome. Because I saw this one post. They actually did Clint Boyer's car as um, a Dodge Challenger. And that's what just really started it. It just, it just, it just be really cool. You see, I like watch, I, I like looking at this post. Uh, it was like S S D Designs or something. That little mm. Instagram account. He does those uh, little Honda or something. It, it's kind of cool to see him do that kind of stuff. And I want to see some more. It, it looks cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that account is pretty cool. So yeah, it looks like. Looks like we're going to be ending it, ending it out here pretty soon here, but got anything else you guys were wanting to talk about? Uh, we can talk about retired drivers and see how they're doing. Is that retired true? drivers? Yeah, retired. The whole thing class. What? What? The um, Hall of Fame class was uh, it. They announced uh, that this weekend. I think Carl oh, yeah. Honestly. Thank you. I was just pretty much, I was just expecting Dale Jr. would get into the hall. And yeah. See, I really want to see Edwards do it because Edwards won a lot more races than what Jr. had. He had less of a career than him. And yeah. if Edwards would have stayed, I, I was pretty much sure he would have had at least two championships by now because he was still uh-huh. in his time with Joe Gibbs. Yeah. Yeah, like Edwards, I think he got robbed. I feel like he should have been there. I know Junior was, of course. I knew going in, Junior was going to be an an unanimous decision. He was going to go in because, you know, Junior's, even though, like, I'm a huge Junior fan, I'm not going to be biased when I say this. Junior, I feel like, you know, he's always going to get the top notch. He's always going to be favored by fans in the NASCAR community, which I feel like he, of course, deserves that spot. But, you know, I feel like he was going to get in anyway, no matter what. And the two other guys, uh, Mike Stefanik and Red Farmer, Stefanik deserved to be in there. Both of those guys did. But I feel like probably Edwards should have been in there. But the way they do the ballot is they wanted a driver that was sort of like new, newer. They wanted a driver from about the 80s, 90s, and they wanted someone from like really back in the day. So that's where like Farmer was really back in the day. Stefanik was 80s, 90s, 70s. Junior was... 2000s to 2020 basically so uh i feel like that's how they do it um, but i feel like they should add more people to the class in the future and i think that carl edwards deserved to be in, in there yeah i mean i'm a huge edward fan if he were to keep driving i'm pretty sure he would be my favorite well not my favorite he would probably well i mean what i mean is that like my top five favorite drivers have all retired except Jimmy Johnson. You know, my first is Jimmy, second is Edward, third is Stewart, fourth is probably uh, Elliot Sadler, fifth is probably um, 
probably Jeff Gordon. You know, they all retired, and I'm just pretty much giving up on NASCAR because it honestly is getting boring and more boring. But at the same time, it's kind of cool seeing that, you know, they're getting attention now, you know? Uh -huh. So, you know, next year I'm probably going to watch it, but at the same time I'm not going to be as huge as I was. And I also have soccer friends that just says uh, NASCAR is gay, so I also got to look at that saying, oh, that's cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a little competition in my school saying, oh, what's the gayest sport ever? Was nothing, nothing, nothing against the gays. They're pretty cool. <laughs> so actually, yeah, talking about this gave me an idea for a question to ask. Um, I was, I was wondering, do any of you see any drivers like Dale Jr., um, Jeff Gordon? Do you see any of them coming back in the next in the next few years to do any races or anything like that? I want to. Oh, I knew he was going to come back to do at least a couple of Xfinity races. I thought Stewart was going to do Indianapolis, but he backed out of that. Um, I don't really see any drivers coming back and doing anything, though. The only driver that's out of the sport right now that used to be it that I think will probably get another shot in the next year will be Kyle Larson. I think he'll get a shot next year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would say, oh, God, uh, Stewart would definitely race in an Indianapolis in the indie race next year probably i don't know i would i would really like to see uh some part drive oh gosh some full-time drivers that have already retired come back to part-time race when not, not all right now i'm making this sound stupid you, you get where i'm going like i want them to come back and at least yeah. race two races in the cup series you know like johnson retires and then next year he comes back to race the daytona 500 and Skips that and then goes on to <laughs> something in the regular series. You know where I'm going? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm... um. Sorry. You you can go. 